State University Athletic Department. He, we are here this afternoon in the Waco Center for another edition of the Coaches Show. And our guest this segment is head soccer coach J.R. Dotson. Coach? Thank you, Coach. Coach, uh, going to rehash last week here at a couple of matches, uh, Fairmont here and went over to D&E. Kind of a, a flip <laughs> script with the two. Uh, against Fairmont, uh, tough start. First seven, eight minutes were pretty tough, but then played them well the final 80 minutes. Against D&E, we jumped on them quick. Yeah. And then had a two goal lead for uh, over 20 minutes and then and then they came back and, and got a few and ended up getting us 4 2. Talk about you know those two matches and how that saga unfolded. Well, I think Fairmont. Uh, uh, I think uh, I think we're I think the girls were a little overconfident. I, mean, I think we're at a stage right now where where we know that we can win some win some games. And I think we just went in there not ready and overconfident. Gave up those goals quick. Uh, but hats off to them. They fought the rest of the game. And, uh, made it a good game out of it. Uh, the the D&E game, the d &E is a very good team, and their midfield's what makes them, make, makes them good. Uh, and it hurt us, and we haven't had her for a couple games, but it really hurt us not having Graylin uh, Floyd in there to have yeah. some speed and quickness, uh, more speed and quickness in, in the midfield. And that's what ended up wearing us down by, by the end of that game. Uh, even at 2-0, I told our coach, I said, we need to get at least one or two more. It's going to, yeah. I, I knew they were going to score a couple of goals. Yeah. Uh, and I think it, it, it was a good game. Uh, frustrating. Uh, frustrating in the end. I think the girls are really frustrated. Uh, but d &E's a good side. and uh, Hats off to them. They, they played hard. And, and I think our girls played hard the whole game. It, it just, yeah. We're, just, we're just, a, just inches away, it seems like, a lot of times. Uh, and, and injuries hurt us as, as well, but uh, but you got to give credit to D and E. Their, their, their midfield played really, really tough. Yeah, they, that uh, oh my, those early goals. Tell me about just that wave of confidence that your young ladies had when they got those two there. Yeah, and I think it'll be something to build off going into the games this week. Uh, uh, you, you've seen the pure excitement on the field, uh, and they were they. Uh, they were confident. Uh, you're exactly. You hit the nail on the head, uh, and, and they pushed hard. And even when we were down four two with 20 minutes to go, they still thought that they, they felt like yeah. they could come back. And I, and I think we could. Uh, like, I'm really surprised we didn't get a, a goal or two. Had a more. good opportunity there with about yeah. two minutes left. Yeah, we had. Well, we had. We had Smets one on one with the keeper uh, early in the uh, uh, second half, and then. And then towards the end of the game, we had Hannah Hill with a good look at the goal. So the opportunities are coming. We just we're close, but we're just not getting getting the job done right now. Hey, we had a Friday. You had a developmental game here with State, a highly competitive one-one match. Just from a program standpoint, you know what it meant for those young ladies to get out there and be able to compete and have that kind of match. Well, not only does it give them confidence and, and helps them build build their game. But it gives us coaches a good chance to look at look at them as well, uh, and it gave us the confidence towards the end of the D and E game uh, to put Oladapo in uh, towards the end, and uh, we may find that uh, she's starting this week. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it does good for them. Their communication was great. Uh, it was fun because I got to wrap yeah. the second half of that game. So yeah. I got to see a little bit more while I was doing that, and it was a lot yeah. of fun. And you know, the girls had a, had a great time, and it. And I think it helps the program as a whole, keeps them involved, and, and keeps everybody keeps everybody on the same track. Well, looking ahead, uh, you know, two more conference matches this week, but the the Wesleyan one scheduled for Wednesday. Now we're we're you know we're being told we're looking at probably Thursday. We're not you know probably over there, but we're waiting on some particulars on that. But just whenever you do get to play that about the rematch with Wesleyan, we're excited about it. The girls are excited about it. Uh, I keep telling, and we, well, I don't keep telling. Like yesterday's pregame, well, I guess Saturday's pregame speech to, to, the, to the team was, we're looking to make history. It has to happen now. And the history is uh, Glenville State's never, never beaten a, a, a South Division team since conference, since they've been yeah. in the conference. So and that's what we're looking to do. We're, we're looking to make that, that, that next step. Uh, and that's what, that's what we want to do when we play Wesleyan is, is, is to get to 
jump that hurdle and break that wall yeah. and uh, beat a, another South Division team. Yeah, that would be big. And uh, it's the first time we played them, played them tough for a long stretch, and they were able to get some goals down the road there. But uh, anyway, about the uh, you know getting in down the stretch here, you got some young players who, who were new to the college game. Have progressed, looking like they're they're getting a little more comfortable with the speed of the game and Mountain East soccer. Yeah, I agree 100 percent with you. I, and I know we're young, we're athletic. Uh, uh, I thought we progressed a little bit quicker, but I'm still happy with what what they're doing. Uh, it's frustrating where it, it can be frustrating when when you're losing like we are, but seeing seeing how they're playing and how they're how they're progressing, it, like. Uh, Graham Floyd's another good example. Started off as you could tell as a high school player, and then yeah. started clicking. Uh, uh, Hannah Hill, the same way. She's starting to click now. Uh, we had some some of them young players, and even uh, we had two JUCO players uh, in uh, uh, Tessa and uh, Destiny. That it took them just a bit to start yeah. start coming on. And Destiny, who was uh, wasn't on our radar. He started. Has now started the last three games. Yeah, he's playing tough. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, coach. A couple big ones this week, and we'll be back here next week to talk about. Really appreciate you yeah, joining us. Appreciate you having week. us. And thank you all for joining us out there. We'll be back next week with Coach Dotson on the Coach's Show.